Welcome to Nursing School Explained and this video on urinary diversions. So urinary diversions means that the urine is being diverted from the normal flow. So in order to review this, let's look at the normal anatomy of the urinary tract. So we have the kidneys and then the ureters that drain the urine from the kidneys into the bladder, the bladder serving as a reservoir for storage of the urine and then the urethra which allows us to void or eliminate the urine. Now when there's something going on where the bladder is no longer there, so as for, it can be the case with patients with bladder cancer when the bladder has to be removed, so then we need to drain the urine some other place. And then the term urostomy comes into play here. So an ostomy in general is just, just means there's an opening, a stoma from the inside to the outside of the body. So some sort of a abnormal opening, usually through the abdominal wall. And a urostomy just means that the urine is being diverted through this new opening from the inside of the body to the outside because we don't have this part anymore, but we still need to be able to eliminate the urine. And that can be done through different areas of the abdomen and that can either be continent or incontinent, meaning that the patient has control over how the urine is being eliminated or incontinent, that there is not much of a control of that urine. So for incontinent urinary diversions, we have an ileal conduit, which is also called an ileal loop. And a conduit just basically means a channel. So again, here we have the kidneys and the ureter, and then because the bladder is gone, what we have here is a, uh, from the ileum, that's why it's called an ileal conduit, a part of the ileum has been removed from its normal anatomical position and installed here at the end of the urinary so that the urine can drain into this conduit, but it's only a channel. It is not an actual reservoir that will hold the urine, which means that this end of the stoma that we now see at the abdominal wall of the patient is incontinent. So we're unable to collect the urine and the patient will need some sort of a device there to collect the urine because it's continuously going to be producing urine because of the lack of that reservoir. Now certainly continent urinary diversions are a little bit more comfortable for the patient and one that is commonly used is called the coke pouch. Again, here we have the kidneys and the ureter, and now instead of the bladder, out of the small intestine, sometimes large intestine, we have created a pouch, so a, an artificial reservoir. And from that reservoir, just like we had over here in the ileal conduit, we can have a part of that small intestine that then comes to the surface of the skin, to that stoma, where we can put a catheter and then drain the urine through the abdominal wall, through that new stoma that we've created. And because we have that pouch here, that reservoir, this is a continent urinary diversion, and it's just going to require the patient to self-catheterize however uh, frequently they're instructed to do so. Now, the other option we have, or that's often uh, performed is what's called an orthotopic bladder recon or reconstruction, also known as a neobladder, so neo new bladder. So now, because the original anatomical bladder was diseased, it has been removed, and what the surgeon did is they created a neobladder, a new bladder out of the intestine. So now, we still have the kidneys, the ureters, instead of the regular bladder, we have that neobladder and the urethra is still preserved. So that means the urinary flow is still normal in terms of the anatomy and the physiology and the patient is able to void normally and that neobladder is just um, constructed of part of the intestine serving as that reservoir. And because the patient voids normally, it is also called a continent urinary diversion. So please check my other videos where I go into more specifics about these types of urinary diversions so that you can learn how to manage them for your patients and also teach them how to manage them themselves. Thanks for watching and see you soon.